So the recipes of the Scandinavian dish lefsa have been handed down to families for generations in Minnesota. And now those recipes are being showcased at the Lefsa Fest in Foston. For this week's In Focus, Jamil Donath shows us how this simple dish can be made in many different ways. Lefsa, it's a Scandinavian variation of a potato pancake and a crepe made with potatoes and flour. Lefsa is just part of the Norwegian heritage. The Vikings had it on their ships. Um, they needed something that would store a long time. It was very hard so it would keep a long time and um, then they would dip it in water and then sort of reconstitute it. But we have a much softer version these days. But while lefsa is made with a few ingredients, there are many recipes for this simple food. And cooks from the Faustin area came to show off their lefsa making skills at the second annual Lefsa Fest. It's probably 105 years worth of experience here. We have been making it off and on during our 46 years of marriage together. We just call it Old Fashioned Lefsa. It's Jeff's grandma's recipe. We think it's the best. We have a competition, a friendly competition going on. So um, everybody gets to try everyone else's Lefsa and uh, then they vote for their favorites. Nine recipes, nine chefs, all of them battling for who has the best. And each Lefsa making team say they have their own secret weapon for whipping up the winning Scandi snack. It's blessed. That's what makes it the best. Some um, potato flakes and 7-Up in there. It's evaporated milk instead of cream. It's sweeter and it's uh, richer, actually, I think. We use russet potatoes, potatoes that we've grown on our farm. <laughs> Cooks tell me that lefsa making is all in the details. And of course, the best part and the most fun of lefsa is getting to eat it. I like it if you have roast turkey or roast pork or something and you can dip your gravy in it. I like it with potatoes and gravy too. Butter, just a lot of butter. Butter and sugar. I'll put a, a cut up meatball and gravy in there and I call that my Norwegian burrito. Some like it savory, some like it sweet. It's very good. Gives it a little sweetness, you know. It's in the seasoning and the potatoes. But the number one ingredient for Lefsa is a little love. He's been rolling since six this morning and we, every night all week. Morning, noon, night, whenever. Middle of the night, you can get up and warm a piece and eat it. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it go. just goes. So there are many ways to eat and make lefsa, but no matter how you dish it up, Minnesotans just can't seem to get enough. For this week's In Focus, Jamil Donath, Lakeland News. I can't be the only one who got hungry after watching that <laughs> segment. Proceeds will go towards the Faustin food shelf from that lefsa fest. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.